and bit of street when using this one sneaker wise i don't know about these shoes i don't know why they exist and why it's a thing but again so 40 percent against rights which is the subsidiary brand of double taps have done a collaboration with nike dunk sb and they've got this like jordan six dunk high i don't know why this thing exists i don't know why why it's a thing but it's absolutely hideous i don't think i've seen a what's the best hybrid that exists out is it the sean w- w- witherspoon air max 97 thing is that the only model that sort of kind of worked right um, like a 97, 97 at the top and an MX1 sole. Is that the only thing that's worked? Most hybrids are fucking god awful. Why do Nike persist with this hybrid shit? Like, why do they persist with it? What is it? Is that that innovation kitchen stuff? Like, I don't get it. I don't get why it's a thing. Like, every, like, and they always, always end up on the sales rack. You go to Sides, you go to Offspring, you go to Office, you go to fucking Shoe or whatever it may be called. You'll see these shoes. You go to TK Maxx. They're always going to be on the fucking sales rack. And now, I love uh, 40% against rice. I love double taps. I love tech. But come on, man. The colorway is all me, right? Because, it's, again, it's black and gray. So, you know you, you, like, you know my body. You know what I do. You know how I get down with black trainers. But bloody hell, like, why do these exist? Like, why is this a thing? And why is it an SB? I just don't know. I have so many questions. So many fucking questions. Um, trust no one on the inside. It's got, like, a. it's got basically the, the, the infrared kind of, you know, so the, the Jordan 6... Um, is it 6, right? Jordan 6? Am I right? Yeah, the Jordan 6. It's got Jordan 5 and Jordan 6 detailing in it. That is insane. <laughs> so it's got two Jordans in one. Wow. <laughs> you can't even tell. Okay, so it's got Jordan 6, Jordan 6 tongue. And what, what, what what's the Jordan 5 stuff on it? I don't know. It's got the F-Par on the swoosh instead of Nike. It doesn't, even, it doesn't even look luxe, does it? Like, material-wise. It doesn't even look like they, they put the best material. Don't follow me on the fucking thing. I don't know. I don't get why this is a thing. Like, why does this even exist? Let's read the text a bit. Um, even though Hypebeast do a horrible copy, let's just do it anyway. Ahead of its official release later this month, we now have a closer look at the 40% against rights Dunk SB. We know that already. This kicked off by the tongue and the fro- and throat, both of which feature detailing borrowed directly from the Jordan 6, namely the cutout top, throat overlay, and lace toggle. Although the design may be familiar, the method of embellishment is decidedly different. The Air Jordan branding on the side. The F Jordan 5 inspiration is then made apparent in medallion and lateral swoosh. Ah, okay, so that kind of textured thing is it's from the Jordan 5. Fucking hell, that is shockingly bad. Fresh embellishment, um, unlimited spatial so like Jordan, F Pi and founder Tetsu, I want them for the rebellious nihilistic theme. Trust no one's printed there. Don't follow me. It's printed on there. Debossed. Why does this thing exist? Can someone tell me that on the comments if they can? Like, why does this exist? Why is this a thing? Why did why did Ted do? Is this like a is this like a favor he owes Nike or something for for a, a collaboration he didn't deliver on? Like, why is this a thing? This is fucking awful, isn't it? Jesus, it's so shit. It's just like a I don't know. I just don't know why it's a thing. Why is it an SB? Why is there Jordan? I just don't know. I don't know. And again, Nike give up on the hybrids. No one cares, especially this generation. They all want fucking collaborations and crazy colorways and all that malarkey and limited edition shoes. This is not going to be it. Every time I collab, every time they do a hybrid, it ends up on the on the fucking sales rack. Name me a hybrid that hasn't, apart from a shoe weather spoon that hasn't set up on the sales rack. Go on, name me one. Name me one. Exactly, you can't. Absolutely shocking. It's so terrible. I mean, I understand again, and I love black shoes, right? I'm the fucking king of black trainers. You go to my shoe rack here, and you'll see black shoe after black shoe after black shoe. I'm the type of person that will buy the black and red Balenciaga triple S's and still reconsider whether or not I should buy the triple black Balenciaga tri- triple S's. And if you've seen the Balenciaga triple S's and you've seen the, the black and red one, the bread colorway and the black and black the the triple black colorway, you will you will think I'm fucking nuts. I'm the person that has fucking seventeen camo green jackets, right? Same color, same basically color theme, right? In general same colorway um no no real difference and i don't like this so that's a big that tells you this shit because if i don't like a black shoe it's definitely shit and this is dog awful man yeah cool no more to be said about this man it's terrible but you know what can you do um i don't know why it exists don't know why it's a thing but you know i think everyone has their taste and whatever and i'm interested to see if it sells out or not i doubt it because kids nowadays don't really care about that sort of stuff but i could be wrong 